There is a logo design so bad that it's gone viral not once, but twice. It's so bad in fact that there is now a design competition to find a new design to replace it, seemingly free of charge I might add. Now this all sounds pretty dire, and in fact it is. But how did one of the worst, if not the worst, logo designs ever come into being? And sponsoring today's video is Vect Easy. Vect Easy has cemented itself as one of the best stock websites for designers. It has photos, vectors, and even video footage, and you can learn more about how useful VectEasy can be to your workflow later in today's video. So heading off to the United States of America today, more specifically Missouri. St. Francois County in Missouri wanted a new logo or a seal, as it's known, to represent them. They wanted an iconic design that would show everyone what this county was all about and spread the word of their county with the utmost pride. And by the looks of things, the designer did not get the memo on how a logo design should be simple to remain memorable and resonate with the public, or how a logo design shouldn't scar the eyeballs of whoever is looking at it. Now the logo design solution that was ultimately created is memorable alright, memorable for being so bad. It really does look like somebody's gone crazy with clip art, where everything that sprang to mind about Missouri was slapped into a circle and then called a logo. Not to mention the text around the circle being so difficult to read as much of it is just upside down. It kind of gives you a neck ache trying to read or make sense of that text. Oh, and let's not forget about that nice little detail in the upper right, reminding us that their county has been around since 1821. But hey, is it just me or does that eagle look like it's actually falling out of the sky or toppling over? Either way, it's a pretty sad turn of events when we're talking about this logo. But the truth about how this logo was given life much like how Frankenstein gave life to his monster, was revealed with the statement from a head commissioner of the county. Harold Gallagher explained that the county seal hadn't been updated for a while. He went on to say, With some simple software, I brought up this new one, and we've adopted that now as our county seal. So it does seem like a classic case of a non-designer having access to design software. And I'm willing to bet that this design was also created in Photoshop, which of course is a big no-no to anybody who understands logo design. Logo designs should always be vector files to retain quality at pretty much any scale. I also get the feeling that this county, or at least the head commissioner guy, wants to save money and cut corners. That would also explain why they've announced a logo design competition to find a better solution, four years after this abomination was created. The internet, being the internet in its kind of funny and sarcastic way, did make a ton of memes and comical redesigns. One of my favourites is this old dude in a mermaid outfit. But moving on to another interview that Gallagher gave, he said, I understand there's a fever pitch on social media about the county seal. It was a rush deal way back when. I had two days for the public to come up with a seal, and my design is proof positive that I am not artistically inclined. But yeah, at least he's honest about the situation, and you can't really blame him, can you, because he's not a designer. And speaking of which, the situation has now been opened up to us designers. So what would a good logo for this brief actually look like? In my humble opinion, it needs to be simple. It needs to use one, if not two colours at a maximum. And if there is going to be text wrapped around the circle, at least flip the lower half so it's legible. But yeah, I wish I had more time because I would actually give this one a good go. A Reddit user by the name WTF703 has gone on in the right direction. Seals and kind of crest type designs often need that official look about them and they do have a degree of detail. After all, they're not brandable, fashionable kind of designs. Now I've tried to find a link for the competition, but I've turned up empty handed. So if someone out there watching this video does find the link, make sure to leave it in the comment section below. So yeah, the sponsor of today's video is Vecteasy. Now I'm sure many of you have heard about it before. It's a lot like Adobe Stock or Shutterstock and iStock, apart from the fact that it has a lot of content totally for free. When it comes to stock photos, a lot of websites out there don't have proper model releases on their downloads. Vecteasy doesn't accept photos without proper model releases, meaning that you won't have to worry about getting into legal issues when using model images on your commercial projects. And when it comes to search filters, Vecteasy has a great scope of choice that can narrow down your search with ease. 
And these are the type of filters that big corporate agencies tend to use. And yet VectEasy is out here offering those for free. VectEasy does have some premium downloads, but for only $14 a month, you can have unlimited downloads. You might even want to bill a client for some images at some point in your workflow. And you can pretty much charge them a premium price and then go ahead and download them using your unlimited downloads account. And that's pretty much like making money using VectEasy. But yeah, click the link in the description box below, head over to VectEasy and see how you can better your workflow today. But if you want to learn more about graphic design or logo design, just click a video on screen. And until next time, guys, design your future today. Peace.